Perhaps it was the beer that made Bengt feel so queer. <coughs> Whilst reading an epistle, he couldn't chew the gristle, and selling <laughs> books in a flurry, he swallowed in a hurry. <laughs> and felt it come to rest in the middle of his chest. <laughs> hey, good, what have I done? I've ruined all my fun, and now I feel so sick, I'll need the Heimlich. He tried to force it down with beer, but nearly drowned. It sprayed all down his face <laughs> through the fingers he had laced over his north and south as the froth bubbled out. <laughs> and down his nose it flew <laughs> as he staggered to the loo. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle, I need some help, he whispered through a belch, but the kickling was stuck tight in his pipes and feeling shite. <laughs> he staggered to the edge and got thick into a hedge. Swing him by the ankle, said Michelle, rubbing her cankles. And as she counted cash, she summoned Porter Mash to take off at a dash behind the choking poet. Oh, who, although he didn't know it, was bound for Aixo Town to push the kickling down or pull it out and let him shout for beer and fags and crack and let him hurry back. Because although he's always pissed, he has very much been missed. The drugs made him kind of trippy. I am an old hippie, said he, removing the mask as the doctors bent to their task. <laughs> they removed the stickling, kickling, and eased the infernal tickling, and they put it in a jar and sent it off by car to Stockholm without fuss, while poor Bengt, he got the bus. Poor Dom, he played a blinder, and no one could be kinder. He deserves to have a rest and still wear his wife-beating vest. <laughs>